Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models, my name is Bob Warden and welcome to this inbox review. We're going to be taking a look at this interesting tank just here from World War II. It's a US T-29E1 heavy tank, um, it's by Hobby Boss and it's in 130 fifth scale. Interesting tank, it was a nice sort of big prototype that we're doing, um, uh, only got into the prototype stage uh, from what I um, can gather about this. Um, really cool, cool, cool tank. Um, if you're a fan of, um, oh, what is it, there's that game online where you can play as tanks, World of Tanks, that's the one. Uh, cool tank to play with. But yeah, interesting box art, very nice just there. I do believe there's only like one set of markings in this and some very um, minor decals in here. So let's just open this up and let's check it out. Let's get out the main kind of meat potatoes of this, right? All our hull and turret sort of section, right? So getting in a nice and close here, we have, um, yes, we have all this sort of um, raised detail, recessed detail, looking at there, all those nice looking bolts, as you can see just there on both, both sides. Um, not seeing any nasty ejector pin marks all right we have the top part of the hull all right this is probably the bit you're going to probably see the most um just feeling you can sort of feel and hopefully you can see a light sort of texture to the surface as well which does look like a very very nice texture um, should probably take a nice wash and filters quite nicely to bring that out Right, maybe a little bit hard to see on camera, but there is a nice texture there. Um, again, we have all our bolts and all that detail, as you can see there. Does feel and look rather, rather crisp as well. Right, um, is that a bit of flash on the sides? Okay, what, no, it's not a bit of flash. Uh, what you could see there is it looks like they at um, the manufacturing side of things have actually cut it off whatever sprue. Um, I don't personally like that when they do that because you've just got to hope that they've done it right and they've not actually cut too deep that they've gone into the piece itself. You can sort of see they're running all the way along there. So that's a little bit of a shame. Uh, but this one looks all right, so hopefully they are doing it nice and right. But yeah, um, lovely detail on there, as you can see. So that is them two. Then we have the turret itself, right, which has a bit of protection on here. So let's just see what it is that they are protecting on here, which it looks like. Not, are these the antennas or something along those lines? Nice little bit sticking up just just there as you can see you can see the texture a lot better on this piece as well um, one thing I've already noticed which is a bit of a shame you can sort of see where um, there is that join line running all the way around this there's even a bit of flash on there now this is a um, a 2016 new tool so it's kind of new that is a bit of a shame I say it's a bit of a shame because it's potentially something you're going to want to sand out but we've got all this texture around it so it's kind of like you sand that out you've got to reapply the texture so that is yeah I mean that is a bit of a, a shame on that sense but then this is an armored vehicle we could go off and we can put all sorts of um equipment tools weapons um bags helmets and all this kind of stuff to cover up any of those kind of um sort of eyesore areas so yeah that part is a bit of a shame um but yeah as you can see texture on there is looking looking good and all them weld marks as well um so eh, not bad but that is a little bit of a let down that bit of flash um, bringing out our next sprue, we have the bottom part of the actual torch section. Um, doesn't have any of that texturing on there, um, maybe that is accurate. Um, this is maybe where the idle, the drive wheels go. Maybe not much detail, but then that is going to be covered up by the wheel, but we've got a bit of detail just there. Uh, moving along, we have all sorts of little pieces. Um, looks like we have where the commander's hatch or the gunner's hatch may be. Um, you can see sort of like all the, the windows on there. Um, the MG, the big um, 50 cal here, that actually does look 
really nice and well detailed as well. Oops, just flip this over. Um, no ejector pin marks, which is nice. We've got some tools on here, shovels and stuff. Um, just quickly looking for some ejector pin marks. They, they do look fairly good. I mean, we do have the hatch just here, which does have an ejector pin mark. So if you did want to open that up, uh, something to deal with just there. But I'm not noticing any major flash going on with this kit. All right, let's bring out a couple more. We have um, what looks like to be all our drive wheels and stuff. And again, we've got this lovely packaging where they protect everything. Let's just try and get this off. There we go, getting that protective bit off of there. Um, what they're actually protecting um, doesn't look like that was very necessary to be honest with you um not really seen anything nasty sticking up or anything so whatever that was for don't know but there you go um so yeah we have our drive wheels just here which you can see um all those bolts on there i mean you know could have been a little bit better detail but it is what it is um some tracks just here and a few little um panel doors and and, and all that goodies and we have two sprues of them um, looking at the running road wheels I, I won't get them out of the bags just to speed things up but um, you could sort of see we have actually four sprues of the same just here and you could just see we have all those nice nuts and bolts on there um, and those wheels should be quite good uh, nothing majorly majorly interesting on there again I won't get everything out of the bags we've got just some side skirts just on here um, maybe some air vents just there you know looking quite nice and crisp then we have it you're going to either love it or hate it right but we have all our track links all separately linked right i do love it i know it's time consuming but you can have your tracks just flowing so much more nicer and more realistic when everyone is individually um, linked and there is a whopping eight identical sprues for all them so you know i'm gonna love putting all them together um, we've got our main gun which is in two parts right bring the two halves together shouldn't be a big big issue um, and then finally that is all the plastic no clear parts right so any of those kind of like glassy areas um yeah you're gonna have to sort of paint it to make it look nice and clear or cut them out and use um something like micro crystal clear to make them look like glass a um, little bit of a shame there decals or decals all right we come to this very minimal as you could see we just have the t29 and 1946 right nothing made at all with the decals uh, which then comes to the markings we have one set of markings just here which um i mean this is possibly going to be a pretty easy to paint and decal and weather kind of kit i mean it's a prototype i mean it's probably going to be quite clean um it's just as you could see it's all just one color basically all over you've got those four decals on the front and on the back you know could be a kind of a nice easy build um, in all fairness uh, moving along with the instructions let's just bring you in a little bit closer right we have a um, nice bit of no we don't have um, a bit about the kit itself just um, a few little bits on there but there is a little bit of a description on the box art by the way but yeah if we get started with this um, it is starting off with um, you know the lower hull part um, and the drive wheels um, and all the tons of wheels and all the the suspension and all that kind of thing going on kind of quite typical start with an armored vehicle um, looking at the instructions, I mean, they kind of look like they're going to get you there and it um, does seem kind of clear and easy. You know, we do have all these road wheels, you know, typical armoured vehicle, going to take you forever. Um, but that seems to be um, straightforward. Um, it gets you to put all these bits and bobs on the hull, the top hull section. 
um, again doesn't look too tricky to follow the instructions um, and then yeah you know you've got those track links that's going to take you a while um, but yeah I mean it does look pretty straightforward to put together doesn't look anything too difficult the only thing as I say which might get a bit difficult is that seam line that runs around that turret right to kind of get rid of the seam line but then re reapply the texture that is probably going to be the hardest part of this kit and that is it that's kind of done um all in all i mean this kit does only cost 31 pound which is actually for the size of it for the amount of plastic you get with it is actually not bad and you know the instructions i mean there's not a major amount to it to kind of build it up it's a nice big kind of looks like an easy quick build to do for only 31 pounds so um i personally think that's definitely a big big thumbs up um if you're a bit of a fan of like prototypes or you know you like playing world of tanks or something this is probably going to be one of those kind of tanks for, for you guys but yeah i'm loving it and hopefully you guys are loving it and it's definitely a big thumbs up um other than that um, my name is bob waldron this is genesis models and i hope you've enjoyed <laughs>